welcome. You join me for another 48 hours of the awesome Sandos Lake. We're in the pipe swim. If you know this swim, you know it can be a very good area. Gat gonna get the rods out. About 20, 20 and a half wraps, something like that, straight out. This morning thinking, well that's it, we've blown a chance of a decent one, but we've had one, and I'll tell you what, we've just lost one as well. Lovely, lovely common, 34 pound. We see one this morning out there. Look at this common, look. What a beautiful, chunky monkey of a common. Look at that. What you come to Sandos for? Proper day ticket, 30. Welcome, you join me for another 48 hours of the awesome Sandos Lake. Been fishing all right, especially this swim. It's done a few fish over the weekend. Sunday, but Dan's getting busier now, there's a few people turning up. There's the kit, pushed it round. We're in a pipe swim. If you know this swim, you know it can be a very good area. Recent videos I've done from last winter and spring, we was in this swim, we caught quite a few. And then we moved up to the island swim and had a few as well. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Gat gonna get the rods out. About 20, 20 and a half wraps, something like that, straight out. And yeah, looking forward to it. We're gonna take you through everything, the rigs, the mix I'm using, the spots we're fishing, and everything else. And biscuit of the week, of course. So guys, without further ado, welcome to the vlog. Let's just run you through the swim and where I'm at and all that. Um, yeah, we're all set up there. It's all done. All three rods are out. I have a little test cast first of all out there, but 20 wraps, and it's just if you pull it, if you're 19 half wraps, you're in the weed. There's a bit of weed out in the bottom there, and exactly where I've seen a fish. I see a fish head and shoulder. I was waiting to get in here when the guy was packing up, and I see one head and shoulder right on, right in line, 20 wraps in line with swim nine, which is out there, swim nine. So I put three. Rods, one right on swim nine, one the left, one the right, all 20 wraps, okay? And put no bait out, just singles. Well, I say singles. I've got Old Faithful 360 rig on the middle rod. Just trying to nick a bite, you know, the old plastic maggots that have been soaking in the sweetener. So that's middle rod. Either side of that, I've tied up a couple of D rigs with little wafter, little black wafters, but I know the birds are a bit of a nightmare on there. So I don't want the birds going there. I thought I'd just try the black wafters on there. Just like I did last session. So I put that either side, literally must be a rod length, if that either side of that middle, number nine, either side. I'm not putting a bait out there. I've seen a fish out there. I want to get some rods out there just to see if I can nick a bite before I spawn, spawn some crumb. But I'm not going to stick that out to just on dark. One, I'm trying to nick a bite. Two, I don't want all them bloody ducks and divers and black chickens and everything just on that area. I, I don't want them diving because they see it. Most bites have been at night on here recently, so that's my sort of thing on it. So we're out there. Uh, from here, 20 wraps in line with swim nine, which I think is that swim there, swim nine. And we're either side of rod length, all at 20 wraps. Wrapped them up on the wrap sticks. Done it all, got them all wrapped up, all nice, all clipped up, ready to go. Boom, they're all out there, done. Couple of casts to do it on there. Let's try and nick one before everyone starts spamming and going crazy. So, yeah, you never know. Sometimes it works, most of the time it doesn't work, but you never know until you try. It's definitely worth just sticking out singles when you first get in the swim, especially if the fish are there. And I'm gonna leave the spam in to a bit later on. Probably put four or five spams out there, something like that, just for tonight, because I'm fishing quite tight. Um, it's quite a bit of bait with the corn and the, and the boily crumb. And it's got a little bit cold. It was very mild earlier on. I had to put my t I had my t-shirt on, and it's got a bit cold. I don't know if it's where I was sweating, and I've I, I, I've um, got down a bit, you know. But um, yeah, there's the. I'm going to put me over. I wasn't going to put the other rep on, but I'm definitely going to put the other rep on now. So I can feel the cold. Don't want that condensation. And you're yeah, going to get sorted. Get really sorted. Cup of tea, relax, chill, see if we can get a bite before we um, we start putting some spawn out there. Let me get a bite quickly. This, this fingers crossed, let's see what happens. A little update for you. As you can see, it's a little bit darker than it was earlier on. We're just on dark o'clock. Cobby's on. 
we have got spinach, ricotta, cheese, chicken, I think, loads of vegetables, mash, and broccoli cheese. So we've got a bit of a munch on tonight. A bit of a munch on going on. But it's looking good. I thought I'd give you a quick update. Just it's getting dark. Looking lovely out there. Overcast, it's cold though. It's a little bit chilly. It's not too cold, but it's cold enough for me to put a second um, layer on of the bivvy. It looks good out there. I must admit, I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling like something might happen. It's hoping something will happen. Uh, it's not too busy. Three guys across from me over there. And they're not really fishing anywhere near me because they stay in their 20 wraps like I am. A couple of guys up the other end. Guy in the car park. And someone on the island. But apart from that, there's five of us on. So six including me, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, six including me will be on tonight. A couple up the top are going. But um, yeah, looking forward to tonight. Looking forward to 48 hours. Going to get some decent dinner in me. Getting early night because I've been up early. So we got here early to get a good swim and look to see where the fish are showing and that. One thing I must implore to you is even in the winter time, springtime, get to the lake if you can. I know. People can't and they finish work on a Friday, even if you're going there for a Saturday.